all suzuki jimny customers have one problem the rear seat belt reminder alert whether occupants are seated or not the rear seat belt reminder alerts you can see now so jimny owners normally we insert the seat belts always in the rear or they use aftermarket fitment which can bypass the system alternately what we are going to do is insert a pressure sensor under the seat which will help to understand whether the occupants are available or not and accordingly seat belt sensor will alert and this will help overcome the issue at hand push up the seats at the both corners and remove two bolts at the rear and you will find the seat belt wiring circuit below so basically what i have done is uh, remove the coupler pins two pins will be there in the coupler this and this pin two pins and this coming into this coupler so i have removed the two pin connector from the socket detach one of the connector from the wire and add the extra wire to that remove one of the pins connect it into an extension cable which gets into a pressure sensor which i bought from amazon yeah so basically what happens is when someone sits on the seat this gets pressed then circuit get closed and there is a beep so that seat belt is worn in case nobody is available in the back seat pressure sensor is not depressed so there's no circuit closure and uh, there won't be any alarm in the front so let's test it out so we have put back the circuit wires back so direct connector to in the split connector into this and we need to safely close it with this piece please take care we are going to test it i'm using a continuity tester you can hear the sound so i'm going to connect it to into this so if you see now there is no sound so basically a circuit is open when so i just keep it like this now someone sits on the seat you can see it's hitting so nobody sitting somebody sitting on the seat now circuit is closed once you put back the piece put back the plastic so now it's complete so we have basically attached pressure sensor through the circuit so you can see there's an extension cable which comes into the pressure sensor so this pressure sensor should be kept under the seat the circuit is ready we have tested it other one also we are testing it out now continuity tester i'm going to press it here sensor so i'm going to test it out this is a sensor okay great so let's pack it up so we have removed the seat we have turned and removed the cover remove the seat cover paste one of the sensors on the seat so finishing it wire wire out now let's put it back no one sit in the back no seat belts put in you can see no seat belts put in no shortcuts slowly no that's coming up
technically behind. symbol is on on setting if you see like seat is vacant I'm just pressing with my hand now you see that's also now on so it mandates seat belt see if we drive now it will alert so I'm just lifting myself you can see that seat belt off is on moment I sit seat belt alert will come Now if we drive, it will come with sound. For demonstration purpose, I have added some manual load by heavy, heavy bags. And if you see, it's showing weight. And if you see, I have not put any belt or anything like that. No cheek coats, few wearing. Let's see the effect. Now at least should sound. Let's see if it's sounding. side because weight is kept on the left side not on the right side so if you put the seat belt it should be fine please wear seat belts also let me know your comments on this project